I am Anil Kumar and now we will discuss continuity of functions. The question here is, discuss the continuity of the given function at x equals to minus 2. So we have a piecewise function f of x equals to x plus 1 when x is less than minus 2 equals to 2 when x equals to minus 2 and x square minus 5 when x is greater than minus 2. So we have three pieces individually each piece is continuous but the point where they are getting joined is minus 2 we need to figure out whether at minus 2 they overlap or not if they overlap then the function is continuous if they don't then they are not continuous so that is what we need to figure out so first let us consider these two points right so here of course when you draw a line let me also sketch simultaneously while we are discussing so that you know you understand what we are trying to do so we'll plot the graph as we move along so minus 2 let us say that this is the line which represents somewhere minus 2 right so let me write down minus 2 on this line so we have minus 2 at this point the function is x plus 1 uh, and it has a hole at minus 2 because minus 2 is not included but it includes all other points which are less than minus 2 correct so if I write minus 2 here I get minus 1 is it okay so I get when I write minus 2 I get minus 1 so let us say this is minus 1 for me so I will make a hole here and that point is indeed minus 1 correct now since it is a straight line I just need to take one more point to kind of sketch it or the slope slope is 1 correct now if I take minus 3 as my point for example let's say it be here since this okay if I take minus 3 as a point then this value will be minus 2 right so we can draw this graph which will be going like this is it okay so this graph represents the first part of our piece which is x plus 1 so this is let us say x plus 1 for us correct so that is x plus 1 now let's look into the second part of the piece which is at minus 2 the value of the function is 2 so this is minus 1 this is plus 1 this is 2 for us so at minus 2 we have a filled in thing which is the value is 2 is it okay so this is the second part clearly you can see that they are not matching right so so what we see here is is that they are not matching so the value of the function at minus 2 does not really fill in the hole which we had because of the first piece do you get the point correct now this function you can say it approaches this function approaches minus 1 at x equals to as as x approaches minus 2 we cannot be at minus 2 since it is less than minus 2 so when you go closer and closer you are approaching <coughs> minus 1 that's what we're trying to say in this case this function is only defined at minus 2 its value is is 2 and so it doesn't so there is a gap here right all this gap is called jump discontinuity So that is the jump discontinuity which we are talking about. Now let's look into the next piece of the function. It says x square minus 5 x equals to minus 2. So for this piece let us see as x approaches minus 2 of course it cannot be minus 2. What value does this function approach? So we'll substitute minus 2 here right. So we'll substitute minus 2 square minus 5 minus 2 square is 4 4 minus 5 is equal to minus 1 so that means that this piece actually approaches minus 1 right so it approaches the same value do you see that minus 1 however this is the value being approached not being there so still we are not able to fill in this gap so the jump discontinuity remains and you can actually uh, draw this graph it's a parabola which opens upwards if x is 0 it's minus 5 so kind of going down 
So let's assume this minus 5 is very close to us, okay? So it could be a parabola which is kind of like this, okay? Where, of course, the point here will be minus 5. The scale may not look right, but that is how it is going to be. Now from this situation, you can say, since, since the first piece does not match with the, the value of the function, right? So what in this case we can say as far as the discontinuity is concerned, in the language of limits, we can say limit of f of x, limit of f of x as x approaches minus 2, but from the negative side, from the left side, it is equal to minus 1. This is the value you approach. Do you see that? Now, we also saw that the limit of the function f of x as x approaches minus 2 from the positive side. So when you approach from the positive side, you again approach minus 1. Both the limits are same. So from here, you can say limit as x approaches minus 2 is, is indeed minus 1. But important thing here is, what is the value of the function at minus 2? But f of minus 2 is equals to 2, right? It is not minus 1. Now since, since limit of the function when x approaches minus 2 is not equal to the value of function at minus 2, we say that the function is discontinuous. That the function is discontinuous. Let me write down. Since this is not true, the function is discontinuous. So that is how you can explain the discontinuity or the continuity of the function. And as you see from here, the type of discontinuity is jump discontinuity. So that is very important to understand. I hope the concept is clear. Let's move forward and work out a few more examples on continuity of functions. Thank you and all the best.